Today's guided tarot meditation will focus on the Seven of Cups. Welcome my friends, it's Rain here. This is episode 28 of my guided tarot meditation podcast. You can do this meditation by gazing at the Seven of Cups card or by closing your eyes and listening to my voice. Let's get comfortable, sitting or lying down, shake out your arms and your hands, stretch out your legs, curl your toes, and roll your neck around. Take a few deep breaths. You sit at your window looking at the sky The grey clouds seem to mirror how you're feeling, confused, distracted. You have choices to make. You close your eyes and sit back in your chair. It feels so comfortable. You pull your blanket up around your shoulders. You feel a bit overwhelmed and decide that the decisions can wait. Avoidance, you say to yourself. You wish that your decisions can be made for you. Your breathing slows as you gently fall asleep. The gray clouds gather all around you. You see very faint shapes in the distance. You can't make out what they are. They're floating in those gray clouds. They seem golden, and you realize there are seven of them. The first shape appears more clearly. It's a head. It looks like a young boy with curly hair, but has a ghostly appearance. Eternal youth seems like a nice gift. Who wouldn't want to stay young? Are you chasing something that you can't possibly have? Are you placing too much importance on what others think? As you ponder those questions, the head disappears into the clouds. Now, You see a veiled figure, surrounded by a red glow. You feel a little frightened. The image conjures up mystery and the unknown. You're not sure if the red symbolizes love and passion, or maybe danger ahead. You try to turn your eyes away, but the veiled figure appears closer. Suddenly, it's gone, but something is moving quickly towards you, a serpent. It twists and curls through the clouds. You're reminded of the serpent from the Garden of Eden, who tempted Adam and Eve. Do you need to learn something? Gain more knowledge? Or perhaps you are being deceived into thinking that choosing the path of this serpent will lead to knowledge when it may only lead to ruin. The serpent slithers into the gray clouds. Now you see the image of a castle. It's grand, yet there is a loneliness about it. You're reminded of fairy tales 
and happily ever after. What is your happily ever after? Is it having a beautiful home? A place of safety and security? What is it that makes you feel safe? How can you gain that feeling of security? Cinderella met her Prince Charming at a castle, you think. But then, Sleeping Beauty was left for dead in hers for 100 years. This is very confusing to you. You reach out your hand, but the castle disappears. In its place is a bountiful treasure with jewels and coins, wealth and prosperity. You would definitely love to have more of that in your life. Times are tough for everyone. Your eyes grow wide as you reach your hands out again towards the treasure. But the treasure turns gray and dissolves into the clouds. You feel disappointed, but perhaps you were too greedy. You wanted to take that treasure, but did you actually earn it? The sixth image appears. It's a laurel wreath. It sits in a cup that dons a skull. Death, you mutter. Transformation. Do you need to transform something about yourself so that you can become victorious? What do you need to change to be more successful? To feel pride in your accomplishments? Just as quickly as the laurel wreath appeared, it's gone. The last image seems to be crawling towards you. As it comes closer, you feel that fear again. It's a dragon. The way it stands and stares at you feels like it's ready to pounce and attack. It's very powerful. Do you seek power? But at what cost? The dragon melts into the gray clouds. Then all seven images appear before you. Each image seems like a desirable choice. Yet each one seems to hold a darker side to it. More than meets the eye. An illusion. The images get larger and each one seems on a course headed right to crash into you. You open your eyes suddenly, startled awake. You look around you. You're in your room, sitting in your chair with the blanket wrapped around your shoulders. You take a few deep breaths and realize it was just a dream. You look out your window and see a beautiful clear blue sky. You can't get the seven images out of your mind. You know this dream was significant. You pull out your journal and write every detail you can remember about this dream. You realize that the dream was about choices you need to make. You realize you need to take a step back and weigh your options. Look at all sides to make sure you're making the right decisions. You look again towards the blue sky. All seems clear to you now. I'd like you to slowly come back. Shake your hands out. Stretch your arms and your legs.
Roll your shoulders. Move your head from side to side. Take a deep breath. Bring your breathing back to normal and slowly open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed this meditation today and it brought you some insight into the tarot's Seven of Cups. Thanks for listening, my friends. See you next time. Bye.